Hello and welcome to this video. If you're new here, my name is Marta and today I will be testing out the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and Concealer by Makeup Revolution. And I've never used them before. I just spot concealed a tiny bit with this one before filming my eye look. And I'll just go straight into the video and apply some of this foundation. It seems a little bit wet. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to uh, apply, so I'm just starting with this. And I'm just using a sponge I bought from Wish. It's one of the more fussy ones. And wow, honestly, this coverage and this consistency just feels really good on my skin. It also looks really glowy this far. Bear in mind, I've never done a foundation review or first impression, so I just hope that this is okay. I really think that the amount that I put on was enough. It looks very nice on the skin, actually. It's not like super high in coverage, but it covers the discoloration and makes the skin look a lot more flawless. I never really put foundation in my forehead, just because I get quite oily and Honestly, I don't really feel like I have much to cover right there. So I usually just powder it with translucent powder to keep down the oiliness. Okay, so... That's how the foundation is looking. Let's see if I can zoom you in. It looks really luminous. Can just see how glowy it looks. I'm not really sure if this one contains any oils. I hope not, but I guess we'll just see how the foundation looks after wearing it for a while. I'll just be staying home today and studying, so I'm probably going to do a check-in during the evening. It's already quite late, I think. It's like 5 o'clock already, so I'll probably just wear it until maybe like 10 o'clock or something and just check in. But I really like how it's looking. It's like so glowy. And you can still see my freckles through it. And I really like light coverage foundations just because I don't have too much to cover. Right now I do have some spots, but usually my concealer just covers all of that. I'm just not sure if I'm going to actually use this uh, concealer or not just because it's so pink in color and my skin tone is way more yellow. So I will just try a little bit first on my under eyes and just see how it looks. Okay, so it looks a lot better now than it did before without the foundation. This one is not supposed to be full coverage though, and I really like my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's very full coverage and it's a little bit drying, but not too much, and the consistency is a little bit thick. But I mean, this gives a natural coverage and I don't mind it. It's just even the Conceal and Define concealer, I don't really use that much just because I prefer to use it as an eyeshadow base. It's not super full coverage like my Tarte Shape Tape, which is why I don't usually tend to use that instead. I'll see if I can try to build it up a little bit. And the shade match, as you can see, is not the worst when I already have the foundation underneath. I feel like if I did just try to cover this right now, I would be happy with the results. So I'll just go ahead and use my Makeup Revolution baking powder in the shade white. And yeah, then I'll also do the same on my other eye and we'll see how the whole face looks. Like a 
bird on a tree. So I do not have any more powder on this brush. I'm just using it to make sure I get all the powder away because I don't want to have like dry patches of powder sitting on my skin. And usually I use a powder foundation on top of my foundation after setting it just because I feel like that gives me a little bit of extra coverage and just erases my pores a little bit more because it sort of fills my pores in but as of now this is how it's looking I don't know how much you can see here I feel like it looks really natural and I don't really see my pores that well obviously I have a little bit of glitter on my face because I have glitter on my eyes but I feel like I really need to actually set down the powder because it is very luminous. So I could use even more powder, but I guess the point of this foundation and concealer is to give you moisture to your face if you have dry skin, for example. I don't think I have dry skin. I think I'm more of like a combination skin. Uh, as I told you, my forehead is usually a little bit more oily but for example around my eyes or my nose area I can get a little bit dry sometimes whereas my cheeks here I get a little bit oily on my nose I feel like you can see that it's a little bit I don't know it looks a little bit dry almost like I have like you can see that I have makeup on I feel like since I usually put powder foundation on I can do it now just because then I will see how the foundation actually works the way that I like to do my makeup so I will just go ahead using my makeup Mecca Hello Pretty powder foundation I'm just applying a little bit here and I usually just put it right here I just blend it out because now I don't have much product left can really see now that this is way more yellow based than the concealer and I'm not used to having a lot of pink products like I always have more yellow toned skin products so I don't think the concealer shade was the perfect match but I guess it works and since this foundation is a lot more Luminous. I feel like it's grabbing a bit more to this powder foundation. And I don't know if that's a positive or negative thing, honestly. I'll just go ahead now and use my normal face products. So I use the ColourPop uh, single shadows or single, single pressed powders or whatever you call them here. I have it in Spectacle and CA Dreamy, which is what I use usually for my contour and my bronzer and usually they work on all of my different foundations and I really like them as so you can see I'm holding the brush quite far out just to get not too much pressure on the brush so that the product will blend easier I never really contour my nose, I just use a little bit of this same shade that I use for my contour right here and then I just blend it out just to make sort of like a very soft contour on my nose instead of like getting a line of contour on your nose that looks very unnatural I'm just really scared of walking around like that without actually seeing it myself so I usually just do it like this and if I do it too too harsh that I get too much product I will just use the same applicator pad that I use for my pressed powder foundation and that will just soften it all up so like this and I feel like you can see on my nose that it's lifting a little bit right there where I uh, did apply the powder but that's usually quite normal because I go a lot back and forth 
And the reason why I always set my forehead is because I am going in with bronzer on my forehead and I don't want it to like stick to the oils in my skin or to the moisturizer that I apply before putting on makeup. So I always make sure to powder my forehead even though I don't use foundation there. And now I'll just be going in with uh, this blush from Colourpop called Why Hello. And it's a quite light blush and I feel like with the Colourpop blushes they are not super pigmented so you can sort of build them up which I really like and often I blend the shade Why Hello with the shade Main Chick that is right next to it in the palette but it's a lot more corally and now I just need some highlights so I will just use my Colourpop highlight in the shade Flexitarian that I have here I'll just apply a little bit here right on my cheekbones I'm sorry for my nails, it's just I'm going to do them afterwards, so I started taking off the gel that I have on top, which was a really bad gel. It was an old gel that I tried out because it was white and it was just horrible. <laughs> so, so that is my entire face makeup or face makeup done. I still have to do the rest of my I look, but I will come back to just show you how it looks with the full look. <laughs> I'm back after doing the rest of my makeup and this is how my finished face makeup looks. I have a separate video on this eye look using the Sweet Talk palette by Colourpop, so please check it out if you want to see how I achieved this look. Uh, as for the skin makeup, I feel like it looks very good. I'll just zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. I don't feel like my pores are looking very big and my skin is just generally looking very healthy and glowy and quite natural if you don't consider all the glitter I have in my face but yeah I really like how it looks this far and I will definitely do a check-in later today to see if it falls apart like on my nose or anything like that at least this is how it's looking right now and so far I'm really liking it. Obviously I do have more texture underneath my mouth on my chin area. I don't know if you can see that but yeah. I'm excited to see how it's going to look after a couple of hours of wear time. I am back after a couple of hours doing my nails and other stuff. Uh, it's almost 9.30 as you can see here. Ooh, yeah, It's almost 9.30 so I think I had this makeup on since 5. So it's not really 5 hours yet but almost. Um, and... I'm just going to zoom you in so you can see how this looks. I do see that the foundation has sort of cracked up right here and a little bit right here. And I mean, it does really look good on my cheeks here. It still looks like it did when I applied it. As you can see in my forehead, I didn't have anything here except from some powder and I'm really, really oily. So usually I just take a paper tissue to wipe it off. But right now I don't really care because I'm not going anywhere. Um, if you see here around my nose, it has really started to separate. I did not set it like super properly properly here but this is something that usually does happen and especially when I do use something that's supposed to be hydrating you know um, so all in all I'm quite happy with the looks of this because this I can just blend out and yeah I will show you here as well this is not something I can do anything about it's my glasses that I'm wearing constantly so what I usually do is to just 
I tap it out and then I just apply some powder on top of it okay the more that I touch it it just gets more and more patchy so I'm just not gonna touch it anymore if you look at the top of my nose it still looks pretty good at least I feel like it looks pretty good um, I will be trying to um, powder this down but I have my makeup revolution powder here so I will just use that and we can see if it helps often when I've been at work or something for several hours I get really oily skin and then I'll just use some paper tissues to dry off the oil and then I'll use a powder at work I just have the powder that I use the um, like the powder foundation and that works very well for me okay so just after using powder this is how it looks you can see that it's really like on top of my skin but here it looks flawless so I will just go and get my powder foundation to just see if that like solves the problem around my nose it was actually quite good after just powdering it normally but I'm still just going to just blend this out a little bit I really feel like it helped to just use the powder foundation instead just because applying it with a pad like this just sort of makes it melt into the skin again and that's what I usually do when I'm at work anyway when I'm done at work and I if I want to go out afterwards so yeah and if, if you don't know I work as a waitress so I'm usually done very late in the evening my shift is usually around six to eight nine hours uh, so obviously I get very oily because I'm running around doing my work and stuff um, so yeah then I just usually powder it down like this and it usually works and it did with this but for example if I want to use this foundation I might just use the conceal and define uh, foundation here instead because that's a lot more drying and rather just use the hydrating one here um, where I get more dry because as you can see it still looks so good here on the side of my cheeks and it's just right around my nose like in the t-zone that it separates a little bit if we look at where the concealer was around my eye area which is usually a little bit dry it still looks really good and I think the coverage is quite nice actually and it looks very natural and I think actually the pink in the concealer sort of like cancels out a little bit of the blue in my under eyes because I really get dark circles under my eyes and I never really tried a very pink concealer before but it seems like it worked so I'm definitely going to use this more I think that's all I wanted to say in this video uh, I'm really curious to hear if you have tried the foundation or the concealer and how it worked for you I've heard a lot of people talking very good about it and yeah I'm I'm not disappointed myself it's a really cheap foundation it looks very beautiful and natural on the skin and it didn't like crease way too much and it just needed a little touch up to look better so yeah just leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts on this and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me and thank you so much for watching bye